Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another video today. Today I'm going to be talking about this book called The Calculus Lifesaver, All the Tools You Need to Excel at Calculus by Adrian Banner. Uh, it's one of the Princeton Lifesaver study, gu Lifesaver study Guides. But today I'm just going to be breaking down this book, giving you kind of re a review of it to help you decide if this is a good book for you to, to purchase. So by the end of this video, hopefully you'll have a good idea of if this is a good good book for you and if at any point during this video you decide that you do want to get this book there's a link in the description that will take you straight over to Amazon so you can buy that right away and start reading it so let's jump into it so just kind of my general thoughts on the book I do really think that this is a, a very well titled book I think it really does have all the tools you need to excel at calculus um, it, Banner, Adrian Banner really took a, a casual and easy to understand approach when writing this book and it's perfect for any introductory or first time calculus student who's trying to learn these topics for the first time. It's common in calculus textbooks to see really complicated and technical math language that can be really hard to understand when you're trying to learn this stuff, you know, your first time seeing it. And Banner did a really good job in this book of avoiding that technical jargon that you know would be easy to trip people up when you're learning it for the first time and i think that's important when you are trying to learn calculus your first time seeing this stuff because it can be easy to get caught up in that technical language that a lot of other textbooks use and even if you really you know could understand the math behind it if you get caught up in the language and can't make sense of what they're actually trying to communicate to you it's hard or sometimes even impossible to learn the math and figure out how to apply that so by skipping over all that technical language it's really easy to relate to the mathematical concepts that are trying to be communicated and taught to you in this book so let's get into kind of the nitty-gritty first of all the first question you're probably asking is how much this book costs and that is a huge perk and and you know a big point in the pro column of this book because it is extremely affordable compared to a lot of other math books that you may be looking into. As of the time of me recording this video, you can get it over on Amazon for under $20, and that's in both the ebook and paperback version of the book. If you're willing to pay a little bit more, you could get hardcover. But unless you really want that, it probably isn't really necessary. I got it on my Kindle. I got the ebook version. Like I said, less than $20. You can download it immediately and start reading it. It's not like a lot of other textbooks that I've read where you, you know, get to the end of a chapter or you get to the practice problems and you want to jump around back and forth back to the chapter and kind of read around a bunch of stuff. It's organized in a really easy to follow order. So as a result, you don't really need to jump around throughout this book a lot. So I don't really think the physical book is as necessary with this one as it is with a lot of other calculus books that you're looking into. So if you you know like the option of having the book on a, a kindle or some other device where you can easily transport it around this is a, a good book to get the ebook version of but if you prefer the physical copy paperback is priced basically the same as the ebook you can also rent them on amazon for cheaper if you you know only need it for a couple months while you're taking a calculus class and then you can return it and it's you know depending on how long you want to rent it you can even get it for less than ten dollars over there so now what I want to talk about is who this book may not be that useful for. So like I said, I do really like this book. However, it's, you know, not an all encompassing book. It doesn't have everything that everyone might want to have. And like I said before, Adrian Banner does take a really casual approach in this book. And as a result, if you are, you know, looking into like honors calculus courses at a college level or if you're majoring in math and really looking to dive deep into these calculus concepts and really understand, you know, like proving a lot of the concepts in a calculus course, this probably isn't the book for you. It is really easy to understand and it does give you all the tools you need to solve a lot of calculus problems that you would have in an introductory, introductory calculus class, but it's certainly not a proof based book. So you're not going to go really in depth with this book into a lot of calculus theory and, you know, kind of the thought process behind how a lot of these things in a calculus course were actually derived. It's really just going to show you the tools that you need to solve problems that you would have in a calculus class. So for a really advanced student or someone taking an advanced calculus class, this may not be the best book for that. Um, the other thing this book doesn't really have a lot of is practice problems. It's not like a lot of other textbooks where there will be a chapter that will explain a concept 
and then a list of practice problems at the end of the chapter for you to go practice. There is not a ton of problems in this book. So if you're really looking for a way to, you know, practice applying the math that you're learning in a calculus class, this probably would not be the best resource for you. But there are definitely other books out there that, that would accomplish both of these things that you could go look into instead of this one. However, what this book is perfect for is someone who's taking a calculus class, you know, because it's required for their major or it's just one of the general requirements that your school is making you take or just someone who's, you know, really just taking that introductory calculus class regardless of your reason. And there's another required textbook for the class that you've already purchased and you're using for the homework and the practice problems and all that. This is a perfect resource to accompany that other required textbook or other list of problems that you have to go through. And this is mostly because of that casual approach that I mentioned earlier. Since this book takes a very casual approach, it's easy to understand. That's not really something that a lot of other math textbooks do. So what you may find going through your problems at the end of the chapters for your homework is that you're flipping back through the chapter to try and make sense of whatever the concepts are and figure out how to do them. And it doesn't really make any sense. And this is the perfect book to help explain those things that you're having a hard time understanding because it really is explained in this book in a really easy to understand way and using more casual, relatable language that you won't have to try and figure out what, what Adrian Banner is trying to say. And that's why I love this book. For example, I want to read you a quote that is in this book that really kind of illustrates that point. At one point in this book when talking about limits, Banner writes, Perhaps you'd like to say that f of 2 equals 1, but that would be a load of bull since 2 isn't even in the domain of f. I just like that example because it's probably how you would talk to your friends when you're trying to make sense of a, a homework problem or something that you saw in class that, that your friend is confused on or vice versa. Banner writes in this book how people naturally talk and as a result I think it's a lot easier to make sense of what he's trying to say so you don't get caught up in the language and instead you can actually focus on applying the math that he's talking about which is super helpful. Of course, it isn't too casual and informal that it, you know, seem, makes it seem like he doesn't know what he's talking about. I think he finds that perfect balance of find, taking a casual approach and also intelligently communicating stuff that you actually need to understand. So it finds that perfect balance, and, and that's my favorite thing about this book. So another big perk of this book is the topics that are actually covered in it. It's a pretty extensive guide to calculus, whether you're taking calculus 1, 2, or 3, it pretty much is going to cover everything that you're going to need to know in those classes. Kind of starts out going over reviews of functions and other prerequisite material that you would need to know for a calculus class. It goes into limits, continuity, derivatives, both the definition of a derivative as well as other techniques for actually finding derivatives of functions, optimization and linear approximation, implicit differentiation, related rates. And then in calculus two, he even covers all sorts of types of integrals, methods for finding integrals, fundamental theorem of calculus. He goes into sequences, series, how to work with those things. Then he even touches on some other miscellaneous things like polar coordinates, volumes, arc lengths, surface areas, and differential equations. And, and that's not everything that's covered in the book. Those are just some of the main topics that I'm sure you've come across in your calculus studies. But really, he does a good job at covering everything that you would need, whether you're taking a Calculus 1, 2, or 3 course, and really does give you all the tools you need. So overall, I do really recommend this book for anyone taking a high school calculus class, whether it's AP Calculus, AB, or BC, or if you're taking IB Math, SL, or HL. It's a perfect book for any of those, any students in those classes. Um, it's also a good resource for any college level calculus students taking, you know, that introductory calculus class that's offered at your, your college. I also think it would be really helpful for anyone trying to learn calculus on their own. Maybe you're just looking to, to study it not in a high school or college class, or maybe you're taking it to prepare for some other class you want to take. I think it'd be super helpful for all those people. Um, like I said, if you're majoring in math, math and really looking to dive deep into these calculus topics and understand the proofs behind them all. This is probably not the book for you, but anyone who just needs to really understand how to apply these different calculus concepts and, you know, get through your homework, get through your tests more easily and accurately, this is a perfect book. So if you want to check it out, link is in the description to take you over to Amazon where you can go get that book right now. And if you do end up checking it out, I'd love to hear what you think about it. 
drop a comment in the comment sections below if you do end up end up getting this book and let me know what you think hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a like subscribe to my channel i do a bunch of different math tutorials for calculus related topics so hope to see you back soon thanks